Studio, Singular's built-in control application, has several tools to help you set up automated shows. Learning how to master timers, auto advance, loops, and playlists will make your life so much easier and take your streams to a new level. Let's start with timers. Setting a timer on an overlay will automatically animate it off-air after that time has elapsed. If you're juggling multiple things during a stream, set a timer and you'll no longer have to worry about taking that overlay off-air at the right time. To set a timer, double-click on the grayed-out digits in the timer column of the playlist panel. Type in your desired duration, hit enter, and you're done. Another option is to right-click on the overlay, select Timer, and then choose from one of the preset durations. One thing to note is that timers can only be set on overlays that aren't currently on air. If you want to add a timer to an overlay that's already on air, you'll have to take it off before assigning a timer to it. Timers are especially important because they are required for the auto advance and loop features. Auto advance, found here just above the playlist panel, automatically advances the overlays in your playlist. When activated, once the timer expires on the current overlay, it will animate off-air, and the next overlay with a timer assigned to it will automatically animate on-air. Keep in mind that only overlays with timers will be automatically played. Studio will skip overlays in your playlist that don't have a timer set for them. The loop feature functions the same as Auto Advance, but with one added benefit. Rather than stopping at the end of the playlist, Loop will cycle back to the first overlay with the timer in the playlist and continue advancing through your playlist until it's deactivated. This feature is great if you have a few key overlays that you want to cycle between throughout your show. To turn off Auto Advance and Loop In, simply click the button again. You'll see it switch from red to gray, indicating that it's now off. One side effect of enabling auto advance or looping is that only one overlay in your playlist can be on air at a time, even if it doesn't have a timer set. An easy way to get around this, and to add even more power to your control app, is by using multiple playlists. Say you want a ticker or a lower third to always be on screen and loop through several pages, but you also want to have a score bug or a side panel on air as well. You can simply create separate playlists for the various types of overlays you want to use. In this example, I have one playlist here for my ticker that I'm setting to loop. I have another playlist for my score bug that I won't assign a timer to. I'll just keep that on air throughout my whole stream. And lastly, I have a third playlist with various elements such as lower thirds, upper right bugs, and side panels. I'll set this playlist to auto advance. Notice how each playlist can have its own separate functionality assigned to it. Just because one playlist is looping doesn't mean all of them are affected by that. Now I have an entire show set up ahead of time. I can simply set my timers, turn on my automation, focus on other parts of my stream as Studio takes care of all the overlays on its own. For more tips on using Studio, check out other videos on our YouTube channel, or click the link in the video description to visit the Singular Support Portal.